The family and friends of 1980s reggae star Smiley Culture have called for a public inquiry into his death. The singer, whose real name is David Emmanuel, died on Tuesday during a raid on his home by the Metropolitan Police. Today, hundreds of people gathered at a community centre in Brixton to support the family's campaign. Yvonne Hall has more. Considering um, Smiley's death um, took place under very, very suspicious and spurious circumstances, why have all the police officers involved not been removed from all their right. posts? Anger and frustration among the hundreds of people supporting the call for a public inquiry into Smiley Culture's death. As a family, we are in a state of shock and confusion, and we are determined to search for the truth of what happened on the morning of 15th of March. 2011, a day that will now be forever etched in our minds. Cockney's not a language, it is only a slang, and was originated yet in England. Smiley, whose real name was David Emmanuel, was one of Britain's first reggae and rap stars in the 1980s. Cockney translation and police officer were his biggest hits. Last year, he was charged with conspiring to supply cocaine and was due in court again this week. Then, two days ago, Met officers raided his home. This was Smiley Culture's house in the village of Wallingham in Surrey's stockbroker belt. It was here on Tuesday morning that police officers carried out their raid and Smiley died. His family say they've been told Smiley stabbed himself in his kitchen after being allowed to make a cup of tea during the raid. A post-mortem examination has concluded he died from a single stab wound to his heart. An investigation by the Independent Police Complaints Commission is underway. Today, Smiley's friends and fans said they're still in shock and are desperate for the truth. He's dead and he's gone from us and it's very suspicious. It's a big loss to me and it's a big loss to the community itself and to many people that respected him as an artist as well because he's an icon in England. His family say they'll work with the independent police investigation but will consider launching their own as well as calling for a public inquiry if they don't get all the answers they want. Yvonne Hall, BBC London News.